okay welcome to our youtube channel this is our sixth video tutorial on sales forecasting and machine learning so just to remind you of what we covered in our previous tutorial uh, in our previous tutorial we covered the how to concatenate between x and y features to have new data frame and we use the python pandas concat function to make concatenation of x and y based on axis is equal to one which means a column so in this video we are going to save our new obtained data frame into disk so let me let me write here saving screen data set as you can see here how uh, we, we we remove the na we remove the missing valves and uh, here we have changed the we have changed the uh, some 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 words some so we, we have changed the uh, column named the red where we remove the words and the replace with numbers so we are we have made about two changes if not three so we need to save our new obtained data set into our disk so to do this we should write df.2 underscore csv this single quote cream cream cells cells dot csv dot csv so this is just how we can save uh, the changes or we can save our new obtained uh, data set into our our computer so if we open in our project folder here uh, cells forecasting there is a file named screen cells.csv as if as you can see here there is only numbers no words but in your previous csv we had words in column red here there are where words in this in these rows so this is 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 just an end of this tutorial i have told you that we needed to save uh, we needed to save new data frame because we have made changes if you have removed the any duplicated uh, valves if you have uh, removed the any missing valves if you have made the data pre-processing to, to 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 convert uh, a certain to convert some some columns from object from yeah into numbers or to, to just to to change i mean your data type of columns you need to save the changes of a new data set this is what we have done in this tutorial thanks for watching uh, in our next video we will we'll train a model by using logistic regression and check accuracy so thanks for watching don't forget to like put comment and subscribe for more video updates thanks